This man spent 39 years in prison for a crime he did not commit. Ricky Jackson was born in 1954 in Cleveland, Ohio. He was just 18 years old when he was wrongfully convicted of the murder of a Cleveland convenience store owner in 1975 and sentenced to death. Jackson, along with two other men, Kwame and Bridgman, were accused of robbing and killing Harold Franks. The only evidence against them was the testimony of a 12-year-old boy, Eddie Vernon, who claimed to have witnessed the crime. Despite the lack of physical evidence linking them to the crime, the three men were found guilty and sentenced to death. Jackson and Bridgman's sentences were later commuted to life in prison, while the wow, sentence was reduced to 15 years to life. Jackson spent the next 39 years in prison, longer than any other wrongfully convicted prisoner in the United States. He maintained his innocence throughout his time in prison, even turning down plea deals that would have allowed him to be released. In 2014, the key witness, Eddie Vernon, recanted his testimony. He stated that the police pressured him to give false evidence against the three men. His recantation, along with new evidence that emerged, led to the exoneration of Jackson, Bridgman and Kwame in 2015. Jackson was finally released from prison on November 21st, 2014, at the age of 60. He had spent more than half of his life behind bars for a crime he did not commit.